Hey beauty queens, this is Celia, Celia's Tarot, you already know. So I'm doing the love energy spreads for all the signs <clears throat> for um, February, for February 2022. I'm going to do specials on Valentine's for sure, but I'm just doing a short love energy spread for each one of you during the week after work when I have time. So here we are. Thank you for joining. Thank you for subscribing, uh, hitting the notification bell. And um, just being here, you know, share, like, subscribe, etc. All the good stuff. I appreciate you very much, Virgo. And uh, let's get your reading started. So the love energy spread is your energy here for the incoming two to three weeks. Your person's energy over here. Um, here would be the universe, spirit guides, um, the God that you believe in. What are they doing in regards to this connection? And then a potential outcome for the incoming two to three weeks remember that in the spirit world there's no such thing as time time is irrelevant irrelevant so <clears throat> yeah they don't know the spirits your spirit guides etc they don't know what 2 3 4 p.m or next week is just keep that in mind and everything is div in divine timing within divine timing spirit guides universe this is for virgo virgo sun moon rising and venus this is a love energy spread in regards to virgo and the connection that they may be in or whatever's coming in, whatever resonates. Okay, Virgo, remember that this is also just for a certain group of Virgos. This is not going to resonate with everybody that sees the video or every Virgo on this planet. That would be weird, huh? Let's get started. All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgo, let's go. Spirit guides, only positive energies are allowed here. Let's get a card for Virgo. Let's get a card for Virgo's soulmate, for the person that loves Virgo, that wants Virgo, that's stalking Virgo, that is with Virgo. Let's just see what happens. Give me a card for what the universe, spirit guides, and the God that they believe in is doing in regards to this connection and a potential outcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit guides. The two of wands, you're still looking for that passion, for that drive, for that love within that you want to extend to another person, apparently. Or maybe you're just waiting for this person to, you know, hit you up, plain and simple. The two of wands. Okay, Virgo, what's your energy for the following two to three weeks? Six of wands, center of McFrickin' attention here. This is wands energy too, Virgo. Damn! You're like going to be the center of attention for maybe many suitors, Many people around you. Look at this. Look at this chick. Like, hey, I'm here. One by one, please. One by one. I'm a hottie patati patuti. Yes. So apparently, Virgo, there's going to be a lot of attention given to you. Uh, with a lot of passion, drive, fire within. There's a lot of hot and heavy attention being brought to you maybe you're being all spiffied up and everything <laughs> being the perfectionist of virgo yeah all right so let's see which is a good thing very nice energy and in regards to the connection yeah maybe they're you know this guy back here maybe it's him right there right in the back all right so then your person your connection what are they uh, thinking love energy in regards to the ace of swords hey they're having like an aha moment virgo and this may be an air quality person libra gemini aquarius and they're either they could be stalking you too i just got that feeling right now ace of swords but this is mainly like the big the sword the aha moment the oh my goodness what is going on i like um, I like Virgo. Hey, Virgo's hot. I'm telling you, it's the guy back here. Or chick. If it's a if it's a guy watching the, the video. I was gonna say movie. Should I make a movie, guys? No, I'm kidding. So then the ace of swords, mmm, it may be yeah, air quality, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and then they're they're like studying. They're studying you and they're um, the, the aha moment and that moment of clarity. They're like, wait, let me touch the globe real quick because I feel it coming. I feel it coming. I feel it coming, baby. All right. Okay, Virgo, baby cakes. 
What's the universe, spirit guides, the God that you believe in doing in regards to this connection? Page of Pentacles. Ooh, they're taking it slow, babe. It is the beginning, the beginning of them coming up with um, ideas. Because what's this kid doing? Coming up with ideas and how to steal more bread, right? So what the spirit guides are doing are basically gathering information, gathering things together, getting things all grounded and stable and in order, basically. Because what is that? Pentacles, right? It's stability. It's There's no stability as of yet. So, okay, la puderia can be in max, right? La puderia meaning the flirting, the wow, this chick is hot or this guy is hot, blah, blah, blah. Virgo, okay, fine. It's not always about the outer look, right, Virgo? But regardless, this person is very interested in you more logically and mentally than physically. Let's get that straight, all right, because it's air quality. <clears throat> and regardless, yeah. The spirit guides are looking over at you. Actually, look at his face. Look at this kid's face. Like, what are you doing? Look at the kid's face. It's hilarious. What is that party? And you in the middle of all this freaking hullabaloo, Virgo. What's going on with you? Chill. I'm kidding. That's so cute. His face is like, what the? What? ¿Qué es esto, man? Yeah, cálmate. All right. Um... Potential outcome for the following two to three weeks, eight of pentacles, which means you got to put hard work in, baby, both of you. Hard work is coming in, but hard and, oh, oops, sorry. Hard, stable work, stable, something stable, something very grounded. Let me set my words correctly. So, but the eight of pentacles also has to do with work. Maybe you know them from work, Virgo. You never know. It's like the lottery. Mm -hmm -hmm. Keep on manifesting and getting what you want and what you ask for. Okay, baby? And you are the strongest uh, sign and also moon, Virgo moon. My Sagittarius daughter has a Virgo moon and I envy her manifesting skills because she, whatever she manifests, she gets. All right, Virgo? So this means that you also are very uh, heavy duty manifester. <laughs> Master manifester. That's what I'm going to put on the sub on the title. Hold on, let me write it down because I'm blonde. <laughs> Master Manifester. Is it ER? Manifester Virgo. Okay, guys, thanks. So, yeah, Virgo, listen. Master Manifester. Big time. Because we got the pentacles here. Look, the only thing is that the, the universe and spirit guys and your God, whatever, they're just taking their time. They're taking their time. You're their time and watching you just get your stuff together or get your stuff in. If you get what I mean. Having fun, Virgo. Having fun, enjoying life, etc. The stability is going to come in. Okay. All right, that's all I got for you, Virgo. I love you very much. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Please uh, hit the uh, notification bell so you see my videos when they come up. Um, share, 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 please. And uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, okay? I have other videos. I'm on every social media platform. Just check me out at Celia's Tarot. I love you, Virgo. I love you, Virgo. I almost said another sign. I love you. Peace out. Bye.